Welcome back, everyone. We are joined by 2012 champion, U.S. Open champion Webb Simpson. Webb, I know you just got off the course. Talk about how it's playing. Um, golf course is great. I, I'm, I was excited to get here and see. You know, I kind of had an idea what I thought it might be like. Um, but it's, it's about what I figured. You know, the golf course is in really good shape. It's firming out already from yesterday to today. And, you know, I remember watching in the 08 Open it getting – a little bit brown and crispy, and that's what I think most of us want. Um, so all in all, very difficult, very challenging, but a great, you know, typical U.S. Open style setup. What does set U.S. Open week apart? I think, you know, everyone knows it as probably the hardest golf tournament of the year. You know, the conditions, it being a major, you know, them stressing out the course to the point of where it's still playable. And we all know that coming in and know that, it's going to be very hard. I mean, I told my wife yesterday after nine holes, I'm like, I mean, I, I sometimes forget how hard U.S. Open setups are, you know, these typical courses. Um, but I love it for a week. You know, I don't think I would like it, you know, 20 times a year, but it's really fun for a week. You, you feel like it's kind of survival um, every day, and um, it's fun for a change. Right here. Yeah, Webb, well, just a little while ago, Brooks was up here and uh, obviously got asked about the Bryson stuff. Just we talked to Jordan a little bit, too. What's the perception of players on this kind of little feud that's going on to the side? I mean, it's drawn a ton of attention. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't look too much into it. I mean, I think um, they're competitors, and I think – you know, the media doesn't see the competitiveness come out in us as much as, you know, maybe you guys need to. We all want to beat each other. Every week of the year except the Ryder Cup and President's Cup, we want to beat each other. Um, and, you know, I think they're just living it out, you know, a little bit more in their words than maybe keeping it inside. And um, I think it's fun. I think, you know, they got a rivalry now. And um, I think it's good for the game in the sense of rivals. I mean, I think there used to be more rivals that you know became well known we don't have that as much anymore um and so I, I think them kind of being open and honest is is good in a way you know because we know kind of what they think um i don't know how much of of them i don't know if they texted each other on the side and possibly you know went in agreement let's let's play this thing up for that player impact program uh, that was kind of one of my thoughts but um you know i It'd be fun to see them, you know, duel it out in a tournament here coming up, you know, head to head on Sunday. There was some discussion about whether the USGA would pair them up in these early rounds. What, what, uh, what do you think the uh, outcome of that would have been in terms um, of tension? I guess. You know, I think the USGA, like any other, any other tournament, they want the focus to be on the championship on the golf course, and I think maybe that would have brought too much attention to two players that already get a lot of attention. Um, and so I think it's probably a good thing that they didn't, um, you know, to keep keep the attention on this amazing golf tournament that it is. Thanks, Chrissy. Here on the right, uh, Webb. What are you? What are the advantages and disadvantages of playing a major championship on a venue that you guys play regularly at a regular tour stop? Yeah, I mean, there's so many things about this golf course that we already know because we've been here that saves us a lot of time, energy, and effort in the practice rounds. Um, you have an understanding of where the pins are going to be, probably, most likely, you know, maybe a little harder this week, but in general areas. Um, and it's just less, I guess, less prep work overall. You know, that's how I feel when I go to Augusta every year. I've been there enough to know kind of what to expect. And then you play a golf course like this enough in, in, in the tournament setting to see it firm, wet, colder, warmer. And so you've kind of got that experience brought in. I personally don't. I haven't been here in a while, um, but I've at least played, I guess, three times in the tournament to know enough to feel comfortable here. And then the next question would be just what do you feel like Mike Davis's legacy will be when he's done with his time here at the USGA? Um, I think his legacy will be kind of an outside-the-box thinker that we've always seen U.S. Open setups be very similar each year where he, you know, to my knowledge, was the first to start thinking about graduate a rough or different U.S. Open venues than the typical venue. Um, and I think he's, he's done a lot of good for this championship in that way. And so um, I think he'll leave a great legacy. All the way on the right. Matt, I've got some Sean Martin specials for you. Okay. 
he's asking about Bubba. He says, when you hear Bubba talk about Pensacola and what he does there, what do you think is the most satisfying to him about his involvement there? Um, I think it's nice to to live in a place, you know, after you've done something like Bubba's done where, you know, you grew up, but now you're giving back to the community in many different ways. So I think for Bubba, it probably feels really good for him that he can impact that community more than just being Bubba Watson, but actually taking care of the community in various ways and um, and not just being involved, you know, financially or with his name, but, you know, his presence, going to baseball games, having his ice cream shop, um, having his car dealership, you know, all these things that he's doing – it's great, I think, for the town. So he has a unique mind, shown how he plays golf, what he does. That being said, what about that personally makes being involved in business with him appealing? Yeah, I think a lot of people don't know how smart and creative he really is away from golf. You know, you see his creativity come out on the golf course, but being a good friend for him, or being a good friend with him for a while, I've seen just his attention and how he's always thinking about the future, thinking about his family, thinking about Pensacola. Um, and I've learned a lot from him, you know, kind of how he's set up the maybe his post-golf life. Beauty. Yeah. Thanks, Webb. Thanks, Webb. Good Thank luck you. this week. I, I don't get to answer yeah. any from the kids. Do it right yeah. over okay. there. Yep. <laughs> They're ready for you. Okay. Yeah.